What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. The darn thing won't stop. <laughs> you guys are good. We got some stuff to do today. First up, we need to get some harvesting done. We've got a whole lot of barley to get up and some straw to collect as well for that. And we're going to sell the wool that we've got. We've got a bunch of, I mean a bunch of wool. First up, we're going to repair and we're going to customize. Then we're not going to change much. What we will need to do is change the wheel setup because, as you can see, there's a lot of weight on those front wheels. And so I want to get as much of that weight on the back as I can. Well, how do we do that? Unfortunately, we're going to have to stick these darn tracks back on here. I'm cool with it. I don't like it, but I'm cool with it. Customize. Boom. I think we paid zero bucks. That's pretty nice. There we go. All is good that is good. So let's back this up. We've got to get that header too. Hmm. How are we going to get the header? And you know what? We're going to have to get that header with something else. Definitely, definitely, definitely going to have to get that with something else. Totally cool. Just got to do it. That's all. So I think this may be our last harvest on Mercury Farms. We've been on here for a while. This is episode 26. We've done a whole lot of stuff. We're not going to delete the map, not by any means. But we've got some stuff to do. Ooh, this is going to be perfect. Oh, we could just drive it. Yes, we could just drive around. So it, it is, uh, well, quite sad to be honest with you because we've been here a long time. We've been on Mercury Farms uh, since before the release and then post-release through testing and everything. And again, where are we going? We need to get that header. It's, it's been great for us. And it's been awesome. And like I said, again, we're going to hang on to it. We're going to save it. And I think we're going to save this uh, this map for probably weekends, maybe. Something like that. So it won't be our... Uh, oh, yeah. We got to make this turn. Um, it's not going to be our weekly or daily Let's Play anymore. However, it will continue to be a weekly Let's Play. Yeah, there we go. This is how you drive this, right? There we go, slide this thing around. So these are really good. These little Mahindras and little John Deere's, they are really good for pulling these headers around. It's, I mean, it's big. Don't get me wrong. Like, we're boomed all the way out. We can barely see it. Oh, yeah. See all that wool? I think we have... Ah, twi oh, crud. We got a truck in the way. Can we get past it? Maybe. No. Darn it! Uh... <laughs> I did this to make it easier for collecting later on, but evidently I've just made it harder on myself. Oh, don't drive in the crop, you moron. Back this up. We are going to take this truck with us when we go over to Woodshire. But for now, there we go. There's that. I darn, turned it off. You guys ever do that? You get in and you're like, oh, yeah, we got this, got this. Good, 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 good. And then you accidentally turn it off. I feel like a moron every time I do that. That's all right. Nonetheless, do this. And we will be able to take some animals over. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take all of the animals. Uh, we will have to make that decision on what we do take because we only get one trailer. If I can get, if I can figure out how to take more than one trailer, we will. There we go. Perfect. So let's get this folded up. Let's get this unfolded. And I want to make sure we enable straw swath. There we go. And what I'm going to do simply is hire a worker so that I can get these lines straight because I know the field is square. But I need to make sure that I do it the right way. Countdown for the speedy in three, two, one. I think it's funny with these modded versions right here that I'm actually, uh, no, it's it's unloading. There for a minute, trying to go up the hill, it was unloading 
slower than it was intaking, which I thought was hilarious. So I think we've got maybe one more run in us. Ooh, a little bounce in there going on. We're going to take this back up to the top. And then we're going to come through. we got to get all of this bailed up. Because what we are going to attempt to do anyway is we're going to get some of those new... Well, I see. I would get the new auto loaders. Why am I going to do 16 when I could do 24? It just doesn't make sense, does it? So therefore, I think the go-to for us will be... Oh yeah, we had to push these things out of the way too. I realized I was like, ooh, I did headlands. I should not have done headlands first. This was just a bad idea, so this guy's going to fly up through here. He's doing a really good job. We are getting a bunch, I mean a bunch, of straw off of here. It's extremely exciting because we're going to have a whole lot of straw bales to be able to sell, which is cool because that's the whole point of this. Why? Well, because we already have plenty of straw. <laughs> 335,000 liters. We don't need no more. We barely have any grass, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Nonetheless, we're going to keep doing this. I'm going to get this field done. We're going to get it collected. Let's take a look real quick. How is the sell? Ooh, Windmill Hill, which is close. And the price is getting pretty high. 1322 Third price just went up again. 1323 So I think as soon as we fill this up, I'm not going to go put this in the uh, silo. I'm going to go sell this. Get about right there. There we go. Perfect. Well, let's fill it up and go sell. Ah, Windmill Hill, our old buddy right here. Let's see. Let's change it up. Change it. What's the button? Tip side front. There we go. <laughs> That's what I was on. It's a tip side. Grr. <laughs> Eat it when I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. 37, 37. That's giving us, let's see, 60, 74 thousand ish seventy four thousand dollars for that one load not too shabby not too bad at all let's head back over let's fill this thing up i think we could probably you know i don't even know if we're gonna fill it up one more time because we've got half the field done already hmm this is gonna be the interesting part right here is to see will we fill this up or not speaking of we've got a lot of canola to do Ooh, helper j nearly full of grain tank we gotta go 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 oh he's almost at the end too come on we can catch him we can catch him hashtag go ahead fam let's go let's go let's go oh we're not gonna make it we're not gonna make it oh come on come on come on just get under there fast fast must go fast must go fast so he's gonna back up nope he's gonna go all the way forward ha got him Let's empty this thing up and finish this field. So we've got everything done. Let's get this stuff unloaded. Let's give it a little bit of weight. And there's half of it right there. Let's wait for it. Tip side back. Boom. Unload that. Get that away. What is our total price? What are we getting all the way? Let's turn this guy on. 37. Okay, so we're getting about the same. So we are up now to $916,000. At the beginning of the episode, we started at 681. We ain't doing too, well, 600, that's where we started the last episode. I got my numbers wrong, hush. <laughs> so what do we got to do next? Well, first off, we gotta get away from these darn windmills because they are loud. Goodness gracious, they can still hear them. Get out of here, get out of here windmills. We've gotta finish getting all of this harvested. And it's like, do we do that now? Do we do that later? Ah! Slow it down. And I suck. So I think what I'm going to do, because we could do it really, really fast, just get it done, get it over with, boom, boom, and then it went boom. Is everything done? Yep, everything's done, everything's ready. I say we go ahead and hit this pretty quick. Let's jump out of here. That, where'd that come from? I ain't even worried about it. This is what I want right here. <laughs> Get this unfolded, take it off, boom, boom, pow. There we go. Everything is good over here. We've got this whole place finished up. We got a whole lot of bells. As a matter of fact, we got, well, it says 40 bells. I had to, had to leave for a second. I think we got well over 100 bells. 
something like that. I'm not sure if it was exactly 100, but I know there was a whole bunch of bells around here. So we got this, pull it around, and I'm thinking we hit that field, other fields. Actually, you know what? We could hit this one over here pretty darn fast and just do it ourselves. That's the great thing about having a huge piece of machinery, yet fairly small fields, to be completely honest with you. There's not a whole lot of extra stuff. It's great, but look at all that wool. We're going to attempt to sell all that today. I'm, uh, I have my doubts of being able to get it all in one trip. I want to get it all in one trip. One thing that I know and understand is the fact that once we get over to the spinnery, it's going to be a little difficult to get in and out of there, especially with what we've got. So that begs the question, can we get it in one trip? If we can't, how many trips do we take? So I'm saying, let's get like four or five trailers, stack them up too high, hook them into each other, and just see what happens. But before we do that, we've got a lot of canola to pick up because these piggies need some food. Did I, did I turn it off? Um, there we go. Moving on. All right, go ham, go. We got us something. We got the fam in the building, baby. Yeah, we got this new flea. Well, I say new. It's not really new. It's a uh, just a flegal bell trailer, pretty much. That's all it is. What are my plans for it? Well, check this out. Let's go and turn that off. What I want to do is I want to take this guy right here. We're going to load up. Just like so. And we've got four-wheel steering, so we are good here. And we can make this happen. I want to do, like, too high, maybe. I think we could definitely do too high. Oh, we're going to have to back this thing up just a little bit. We are too far for a jump. Here we go. Just back just a little bit. There we go. That ought to be good for where we want to be. So let's hop back in here. And just simply put this down cross boom out just a little bit so we can see what we're doing right there there's one and we've got a uh, whole lot more <laughs> I believe there's 49 here that's a whole lot 49 wood or wool pallets how many wood pallets have you guys held on to before I think this is Without doing like a challenge, which I've done before, thanks to Alien Jim, I think this may be the most wool I've ever had sitting in one spot. Oh, it's a whole lot. So give me some time. Unless I royally mess this up, we're going to just load this, get it done. It's going to take a long time. So I'm just going to pop on uh, pop on some tunes and rock and roll. Do you want to know how long this took? <laughs> Too long. Exactly too long oh come on just go. no 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 stop being bad at being wool just stay up there and be wool and be happy about it rabble yeah got it how many enemies here one two three four five six seven eight nine i messed up counting didn't i one two three <laughs> Gosh, five, six, seven, eight, eight, sixteen. Goodness gracious, we got thirty-two on here. This is gonna be all right, and we got a whole lot more left. Like we've got all this sitting here, we got one in there, and then we've got like fifteen or twenty just sitting over there, hanging out, chilling, waiting. Let's turn this on. This is going to be probably the most top-heavy load I have moved. I'm aware of that. I understand that I'm going to mess this up. And I know that this is all going to fall over very soon. Uh, probably because of my own doing. So <laughs> I'm just prepared. Like, you know what? It's going to tip. I get it. I understand. It's going to fall over. I'm just waiting for it to happen. <laughs> That's really all that is. Gosh, look at that, though. Look at all these wool pallets. Let me know again. I got to know. What is the most amount of wool pallets you have transported at one time? You know what? Forget this field. Ain't even my field. I'm going to drive right through it. 
Oh, oh, bad, 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 bad. Yep, not too bad. We're good. We're good. Everything is good. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this over there. <laughs> we need a thumbnail, too. Let's take a thumbnail. So I've just looked, and we're getting about $1,700 per thousand liters. So each of these is going to be worth somewhere around three grand. But three grand times 32, that's pretty good. And the great thing about this is we're going to be making really good money. Oh, really good money. Can we make this turn? I don't know if I can... Yeah, without backing up. There we go. Yeah, we can make this turn. Now, is it going to sell immediately when we roll through? Oh my goodness, look at all of it emptying. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Uh, we got to get these wool pallets off of here. There, there's a little bit. Um, there we go. <laughs> that worked. Gosh. Sold wool. We've got to check and see this. Where is it? Hold up. Let's see. Sold wool. Five, 55 grand. So not a lot free. Let's be completely honest with you. That's free money right there. But 55 grand, not as much as I was hoping for. Still good. Not as much as I was hoping for. And there's a whole lot more to go. And so instead of... Instead of just loading the rest of that wool up here, I think we're just going to let it hang out for a rainy day when we need some extra cash. Well, we now have our second piece of equipment that's going to be going over with us. We got a John Deere harvester. We got the John Deere because the case just isn't quite big enough. So we went with the T560i. We did go with Michelin's and a crawler track as well. I thought that would be really cool and very just epic. Epic is always awesome. So let's jump in. Let's head over there. We don't have the header for it. However, a header trailer and the header for it has been ordered and will be there waiting on us when we get there. Oh, yeah. Nice and easy. Taking right out of here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it. Let's get over there. Let's get a little change of scenery going on for us. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I do love a good scenery change. Oh, man. Let's see if we can turn right right here. Very good. Very good. Let's see if we can fall, keep from falling. So we got here. Our header is here. The header for this specific combine, which is great. And we got a gator, too. Yeah, we're adding a gator. I don't think I've used a gator yet in any Let's Play. So I'm super excited about that. So we've got this. we got the gator. Uh, so now we have three John Deere vehicles. We've got a tractor, we've got a combine, and we've got the Gator. So, we have one case. So now, what we've got to do, the next thing, the next thing we get, is got to, be, ooh, big, big, uh, big area over here. Let's put this over here. Next thing we got to do, we have got to get another case. Let's drop this off right there. Boom. Pull it away. And we'll just park it right there for now. Be all right. Yeah. Oh, I love this thing. It looks so good. Let's raise up that header. There we go. And bring it in. And I think, uh, you know what? I think it'll fit in here just fine. Let's just pull it in. Boom. Easy. Let's get that header dropped off. There's that. Good, good. How about this? Let's get this taken and put away. And let's go get that gator. Imagine if you were on a road driving along, just hanging out in your gator with your uh, big combine header on the back. And everybody's all in your way. All in the way. I don't know why they got to be all in the way. They don't even stop, which is rude. But also, don't think anybody comes on this other side. So if you're not going to go the speed limit, I'm just going to pass you. Ha 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 ha. Gotcha. And we got everything good. We are rocking and rolling. Let me know down in the comment section below. I want to know what case should we get? We're not getting a combine. We've already got one combine. So we're good there. What should we get? I'm thinking like a Puma. Something around that size. Maybe an Optum. 
I almost would say an Optum would be too big. But we don't have a big tractor yet. So maybe an Optum is the way we need to go. But anyway, case fans, let me know what you want to get. Magnum is Magnum and a quad track are completely off the uh, off the rail right now, or at least at least for now. There we go. Boom. This is turning out to be okay. We got green on the farm. We got some red on the farm. This is turning out to be awesome. Oh, I missed my turn. Let's park this here. <laughs> Boom, baby. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. Nari, please subscribe. If you guys are liking this Mercury Farms and uh, uh, Woodshire crossover, let me know. Eventually, will we we will be moving 100% to Woodshire. But for now, a couple episodes to go on Mercury Farms still. So we got to move animals. we got to move uh, some crop over. So we've got stuff. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. That being said, I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace!